Dr. Hajal, if a person is diagnosed with sleep apnea, do they always have to have a CPAP? No, not always. It is the most effective and the most common treatment that we use. But for some people, they can uh, uh, do better with surgery, and the surgery would be of the upper airways, the roof of the mouth, the mm -hmm. tonsils, and, and the tongue. Uh, and sometimes we do surgery on the jaw to push the jaw a little bit forward. Sure, of course, a more intensive surgery then. Uh, that's one option. Another option would be oral appliances, which is uh, uh, sort of something that you would bite on and it'll push your jaw a little bit forward. Mm -hmm. And those are adjusted sometimes to your teeth and to the jaw uh, bite to enable to push it a little bit forward. You can adjust it and make it uh, more forward or less forward depending on uh, how the snoring has responded or not. And that's to open, open the passages? Right. To open The whole aim is to open up the passages behind the tongue and the, and the roof of the mouth. So if someone does not want to use the mask, they could opt for surgery? Well, that's true, but they would have two conditions. It would have to be a milder form of the disease. So if somebody is, has a very, very severe form of sleep apnea, they will not respond to surgery and, and oral oh, appliances. They won't. And number two, they can't be too overweight, because if they are, no matter how much uh, uh, space can be made with the surgery and the oral appliances, the weight can still come and collapse it, uh, afterwards. So a lot of people, um, I see a lot of people who are disappointed that they cannot do, use those alternative treatments. But, uh, but what I recommend is for them to go on and lose the weight and then consider those options down the road as they are using their CPAP in, in the meantime. What about medications as treatments? Medications have failed a lot in, in sleep apnea. We couldn't really find a medication that would actually uh, tone the muscle enough to, to open up. Um. Many have been tried, including hormones and so on, and, uh, and uh, SSRIs, like antidepressant medications. Mm -hmm. and they have had limited, very limited success. There are no true medications that are indicated for sleep apnea. All right, thank you. Okay.